Oh, well, hey, folks, wanna... guess where I'm at? Anyone want to guess where I'm at? How are you? Show. Um. Oh, right. Yeah, Cassie. We're we're back here. Hi. Um, I am not. <laughs> we're back here, and this is an NXT Takeover San Antonio review. And for those of you who don't know who I am, my name is Cassie. Cassie, I literally introduced you ten seconds ago. Yeah, but you could have been talking about the piece of paper or the cat. <laughs> Yeah, but the piece of paper's taller. Keanu Reeves. Haven't you ever heard that? Anyway, so NXT TakeOver San Antonio. Nigel McGuinness is replacing Corey Graves on commentary. The most British name ever. No, it's the most wonderful time of the year, and it's not Christmas. You're not seasonal. Yes, it is. Enough, a, I don't have enough Guinness for that. For for Christmas? Yes. The, how the hell do you celebrate the holidays? <laughs> Figure since you're you southern, my dad. I figured since you were Southern Moonshine would have been more appropriate. Um, Nigel wrong and part of the South. <laughs> there's, there's, there's nothing but wrong parts of the South. What are you talking about? Anyway, Nigel replacing Corey. Cool. I actually can't wait to see how yeah. Nigel does. It's long overdue because Corey's been on Monday Night Raw commentary for a while in pay per views. His voice has got to be getting worn out, even with them taping NXT for a while. It'll be nice to get some things off of his plate. <laughs> Yes. One could say he's had a grave problem with this. Yes. Anyway. And all you could talk about was his tattoos oh! pooted. Well, his tattoo. It does sound like his tattoos pooted. Well, the one on the back of his neck pooting? Pooted. Anyway. That was, that was, boy, it was very Pretty. sudden. Billy and Peyton pulling an Owen Hart. Not falling, but pulling an Owen Hart. I seriously um, thought you were going to say pull it out. For and a just, I would never pull out of them. <laughs> Billy and Peyton pulling an Owen Hart with the N NXT End of the Year Awards, like Owen did with the Slammies. That was cool. Revival with a fun interview. And planting the seeds for an Ember Moon Oscar feud. I am all for that. Even though I would say Nikki Cross should get another shot. You just like at, people planting their seeds. I, I don't have kids, so I haven't planted my <laughs> seed anywhere. Um, I'm actually excited at the prospect of an Ember Moon Oscar feud. Yeah. Yeah. They're two strong talents, and it's going to be a really good feud. I mean, yeah. The see, I mean, you know, I don't know. Maybe maybe Ember Moon's eyes are cycling. I don't know. You know, the, well, the red eyes. Oscar won't get hypnotized under the mask. When did Ember Moon become soft kid? Uh, the great Sasuke. I mean, I'm all for it. Anyway, there are people over there. So, I'm all excited about that feud. Now, we go on to... This is probably going to be a quicker interview than most because um, a couple of the matches were good but not great. Like, Ty Dillinger versus EY. That was fun. Kyle, stop shadow boxing. No, it's actually funny. Um, <laughs> Ty Dillinger gained a huge pop. Eric Young. Still able to wrestle pretty well despite the fact that he beat his body up for little money in TNA. Are you going to say your line? What? Well, oh, wait. You mean when you made the comment about Dillinger's hair being messy? Yeah. And it looks like he needs a hair tie. <laughs> and then EY, she kept pointing out EY's small nipples. His, his NXT. They were tiny as his, his, his NXT. His Next. NXT. Next. Next. I'm going to keep saying that till. Yeah. That was a horrible Nicolas Cage movie, by the way. Next. Um, I enjoyed it. I thought it was good. Like, they literally just started this feud two weeks ago. So, for what it's worth, they did the best here. I think there's more to it. Dillinger did lose, which I called. I knew it was going to happen. And Ty could show up in the Royal Rumble tomorrow at number 10. I feel like Eric Young did a really good job with this match. Eric, Eric Young's been an underrated talent for a number of years. Honestly, he has. Um... I mean, Sandy interfered, and Eric Young got the win, so it was a dirty win. Um, oh my. Such a dirty win. Yes. And then he couldn't, I guess Dillinger couldn't tie this up. Anyway, so I thought it was fun. I would say a 7 out of 10. Crowd reaction was good. It wasn't a great match. It was a fun match. It was a fun match. Yeah. I remember the last part I saw Eric Young in was TNA when he was battling Lashley for a spot against Kurt Angle. That was like mid 2016 at the least. Yeah. I mean, actually, that was back then. That was why I was so surprised to see him because that was the last time I'd seen him in TNA. She hasn't been able to really keep up on much of NXT due to schooling and Hulu. Um, you know, having NXT and generally you don't have a lot of time on your hands. Yeah. Oh my, would you look at the time. So much time. When I thought was you it? were going to sing that thing. Well, first off, you said chime. 
Why, why are we talking about Chime? Chime time. Yep. No, Crime Time. They were a black I team. like Chime Time better. No. Yes. No, Wind, wind yes. Chime Time. It blows. Um, it was, it was still fun. You, you, you said you weren't going to tell anybody about that. Why, why you got broadcast that show? Um, Roderick Strong and uh, CN becoming almost famous during this. Yes, I'm proud of that one. Um, it was a fun match. It was actually a lot better than the Thai EY match, but still, I'm gonna say eight. I'm gonna say eight out of ten for this reason. It was hard hitting, and for the build that they had for for only like the last month, mm -hmm. it was well done. And Almas is a much much better heel than he is as the baby face. They should have had him debut as a heel because his baby face run was terrible. Um, I kind of feel like it was We have like, a producer making an appearance. Hi. You want to see here? You, you want to see here? Hi. Ah, you're going to fall. Hi. Good kitty. Which cat is that? Sophie. Hi. You don't like me. Um, Our producer is back and not really Good enjoying. Day. Um, Anyway. I felt like it wasn't my favorite match. I felt, I kind of felt the opposite of you. I felt like it was a little less than the Ty Dillinger and Eric Young match. Well, that's fair. You were more, you you were more invested in the first two characters. That's fine. You, I think if you would see more of Roderick Strong's, you know, matches, you might have, you might have oh, agreed so more. No, 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 he wasn't. <laughs> um, still that backbreaker on the ropes. Oh my God, that was great. I just <clears throat> haven't really been able to get into. CN as a wrestler. He's a good wrestler. The problem is his character, even as a heel, is shit. Now, he's yeah. easy to hate. But anyway, it's still, it, it's still... I don't hate him. I just haven't become a fan of his. He got caught He got caught in the ropes like he got caught in the fence coming over. That's right. I went there. I thought you forgot about that. All oh, time. no. Oh, no. I don't forget those matches and those and those moments. So, still, it was it was fun for what it was. Now we move on to the tag titles match. Which look, the authors of Pain I mean look, the authors of Pain won, cool. They're not they're not ready to be tag team champions. One, the ref botched one pinfall. One, two, oh no, it's not three. Champa, I guess was supposed to kick out, but maybe his beard didn't, you know, translate to his head. I don't know. Um it's like, wait, kick out. No. Beard took a nap. It was still a fun match and DIY did what they could. <laughs> and it was hard hitting. I just I don't know. I felt like something was missing from this. Yeah. I mean DIY losing, okay, you do this hot potato with titles because they only won him back at TakeOver Toronto. I mean, the chase was fine, but unless this is going to lead to DIY feuding into TakeOver Orlando, like breaking up and feuding, yeah. I don't see a reason to give them to the all sorts of pain. You could have done a count-out win for DIY and extended the feud. Yeah. They might have seemed cheap, I don't know. And Ellering's great. He's doing a great job with the all sorts of pain, but I don't know. I just I, I do ahead. agree with you how it seemed kind of botched and everything like that. I you could s clearly see them constantly messing up and everything. To be fair, anyone created by, uh, or trained by the Craig Kali is bound to botch. Um, I told you he doesn't train; he just does really slow laps around the performance center and gets worn out that way. I actually think the ring could walk faster than he does, and the ring is an inanimate object. The ring could cut a better promo, also. <laughs> um, I don't know. It was fun. And then they had the Rollins Triple H thing. Well, that was that was weirdly placed. Why didn't you do that at the Rumble? So Rollins can take over. You happy with yourself about that? Yes. Okay. I'm All thrilled. Right. Okay. Right. You better ring out that seat, I guess, when you're done. Woo! Anyway, so yeah, I mean, it was it was fine for what it was, but it kind of went nowhere and was just oddly placed. I mean, yeah, I guess it sort of made sense because Triple H is going to be there, but I don't know. It just was weird. more though. like they're trying to hype up the Rumble in, the, in their own pay-per-view. You, you mean hype up Rumble during NXT? Yeah. Because the Rumble is a pay-per-view, so I'm not really sure what you were trying to say there. Why would you need to hype Rumble within another pay-per-view? Have you seen how they've added three matches on the kickoff in the past, like, yeah. week? So you want to ask that question again? I don't know. I still don't know why they need to hype it. Oh, no, no, no. I agree with you. I'm just saying it's like they've, they've literally There's added... other times that are better to hype it besides in the middle of an NXT pay-per-view. Time pay is on my side. Yes, Too it much is. time on my hands? No, no, no. No, I'm not a clock worker. <laughs> I agree with you, and especially considering it's going to be a two-hour pre-show for the Rumble, and they have this, you could it's have... It's going to be like WrestleMania. We're going to be worn out by the end of it. 
Okay, if Reigns, wow, wow. if Reigns, <laughs> ah, if Reigns manages uh, manages to somehow win the Universal Title and win the Rumble, you know he could face himself and it would still be boring. He wouldn't be able to get himself over. Just a one man fight going back. No, no, he's Slater, just one man. Just a one-man band. So, Nikki Cross, Peyton Royce, Billy Kay, and Oscar. Oh, oh, oh yes. Oh, yes. Especially the part where all three of them are in a row we're, thrusting we're, into pa each other. Peyton, Peyton is screaming as Oscar grasps yes. her from behind. Oh, oh yes. They're doing a little conga line, grabbing each other. That wasn't pose. what I was watching. <laughs> it was. I, I actually thought at first they were trying to do the human centipede, and then I realized that they were. This weren't. is one of the moments where it sucks being the only women surrounded by three guys. You can grammar. I got a choke on up there. Not the best thing to say with the line that you just said, by the way. <laughs> this is what sucks about being the one woman among three guys. I kind of choked on it there. Well then! <laughs> I'm kind of in a sausage party here. No. No on that movie. No. Um, to be fair, shout out to Ashley. She actually enjoyed that movie. I, did, I didn't want to watch it. I refused to watch but that movie. It is, <laughs> I didn't want to watch it. But um, anyway, the women's four-way. Oh, yes. Um, that was actually very oh. fun. Given how Peyton, Royce, and Billy Kay still aren't quite capable of being so in the championship boring. echelon, they actually they, they performed okay. They weren't great, but they were effective heels, good teaming. Nikki Cross looked pretty dominant, like where they had to take her out on the table. Oh, yes. Um... That was fun. I, and Oscar getting the win where... This she is just full of moments that got your attention, didn't it? Oh, I'm full of something right now. Um, it was still fun. I enjoyed it. I thought that it was... I thought it was a good, good pace match. It was better than the tag match, even though, like, it was shocking to see the Authors of Pain win. I'm like, the women's match had a better pace. Yeah. Like, even with Peyton and Billy still having some issues, looking good, but needing... They'll, they'll need till at least Brooklyn 3 to get a title shot. To I be feel ready. like Nikki yeah. didn't really get so that much of a chance to shine, shine though. Yeah. She basically got thrown out pretty early in the match. Uh, she had that dive to the outside and hit that st and hit some moves. I mean, I agree with you. It's like I think they, she's also the least, you know, featured character like there. She has been, she's been on TV the least of them. Maybe they wanted to protect her. Um, it feels like to me she didn't get that much time in the ring before that's, she got knocked out. Uh, it's fair. And then got. You know, got back up again, but they're never going to keep her down. Um, it was it was fun. It was a quick finish, though, but it was still a fun match. Yeah. And then we go on to Rude versus Nakamura. Cool entrances where Nakamura's best powered that cart yeah. to the ring. And he had his own little pole. Won, won the. Why you gotta make the Asian joke about the pole, sir? What? Why you gotta make it little? Why you gotta do that? Huh? <laughs> We, we, we it run, was the right size we, for him. We, we, run a clean, we run a clean show with non-racial jokes. What the hell? Sure we do. What? What? I didn't well, even Chris believe... this? You were on the show before Chris. You don't think you can confirm it? Anyway. It could um, have taken a turn there. I mean, it's a woman driver. She's just going to turn into something and crash. Ha! Tanika Patrick can't drive. He anyway. had the right size pole for him. It works for him. <laughs> okay, he, he, your husband's right over there. I mean, what, why you gotta talk about this on camera? Oh, he still has a thing for Emma, so. Emmalina, you know, because that doesn't sound like a DreamWorks princess. Um, She's not coming anytime soon. <laughs> that, that, that was Pixar. <laughs> John, what what was that? <laughs> I was like, that was fine. It is a Disney movie, dumbass. Yes, but DreamWorks. I said a DreamWorks princess. You said Disney. No, DreamWorks. I actually said DreamWorks. Okay. I mean, yes, Elsa is a bet. Disney creates better princesses. But anyway. Okay, as much as Ashley would love this, this is not about Disney. Yes, shout out to Ashley for loving <laughs> Disney. Um, good entrances. It was a good match. It was well paced, except. You had Nakamura where I don't think he actually legit got injured. I mean, if he did, I'd be surprised. He was selling it really well. He was selling it really well. My only thing is, is that he wouldn't be able to continue the spots. Even as good as he is, I don't think he would have been. If he legit tore something in his knee, mm -hmm. there's no way he would have done He wouldn't have been able to stand on it at all, no matter how much adrenaline they had. So I think this is a way for... Look, 
first off, do not make Nakamura a three-time champion in a bit. Just don't do it. <clears throat> um, so you're expecting to see him at the Rumble tomorrow? If he's not, I'll be surprised. Joe, for sure, is going to be at the Rumble. Oh, I've got Joe winning. That's Joe. my prediction for the Rumble, is that Joe's going to win. Hashtag Joe is going to fill you. Um, <laughs> so, it sounds like, he already, <laughs> sounds like he already did from the way <laughs> he sounded. I think he just did a hiccup and collapse at the same time. A hiccup, <laughs> a, a hiccup collapse? <laughs> anyway, okay, so... Okay, who is the guy in the corner? Talk about the guy in the that corner. That was... What guy in the corner? The ref? No, the, the guy, ball guy? Or the guy uh, that's a trainer. Matt Bloom, he was Albert. He wrestled for a number of years in WWE, he went to Japan. Uh, it seemed because, like there wasn't a point of him being in the corner. He probably was okay. there to like make sure everything was okay. Maybe Shinsuke was legit injured and he called an audible. The problem is I did not see the ref do this. Yeah. And that means that somebody's injured. Um I think Rude was supposed to win, but it's a little odd that, that happened. But anyway, I enjoyed the match, but it, it ended kind of sped up the handle. <clears throat> yeah, well, it ended kind of weirdly. <laughs> so I don't know. Um, I'll say the takeover San Antonio was a B, B B plus. B not um, B. No, no, uh... not Wicker Man. Um, B B B to B plus. Um, it certainly you know had an active crowd, and there are some interesting stuff, interesting stories coming out of it. NXT's kind of hit a plateau though. Yeah. I'm not really sure if it can rise above where it is now. Uh, but anyway, I said B to B plus. What do you say? I would say B. Okay. No, that's fair. That's fair. Do so, you think it's equal? How no. do you feel about it being better than Rumble? Do you expect no, it to be better? No. I think than I Rumble? as much this my expectations were low for this, so actually I will say B to B plus is about what I expected at the most. I think the Rumble will be better unless they F up the winner, which they probably would. No, Nikki Cross. Um, <coughs> that was enjoyable, Nikki though. Nikki fingers crossed. Um, giggity. Um, <laughs> so anyway, do you agree with what we said? Do you disagree? If you do, too, too, too bad. Um, look. We don't care. Oh God. I don't care. You um, already watched. I actually, I actually do. If you people want to, what do you mean, you people? Want to leave a comment? Go ahead. My Twitter handle's in the description. I think hers is, I don't know. We're um, very responsive on Twitter. I am? I don't tweet. Anyway, it's been real honesty with John Rithlin. I'm John Rithlin. That I'm Cassie. And see ya. You might see me again.